ProShow's built-in effects already makes it easy to create stunning video slideshows in just a few minutes. But with show templates, you can speed up your workflow even more by having complete, pre-built slideshows ready to go with just a few clicks. As you can see with the template that I have open, the transitions, slide styles, timing, and custom effects are already set up. However, instead of images, we see these gray placeholders in each slide. Once a template is open, all you have to do is fill in the placeholders with your images and video clips. Let's start from scratch to see how it all works. To create a show using a template, begin by clicking the new show icon in the toolbar. In the new slideshow window, click the template icon on the left and make a selection. ProShow comes with several built-in options to choose from. Underneath the template's name, you'll see some details about each show template that will help you choose. I made this custom template earlier, so I'm going to choose this one, and then click the Create button. Down here in the slide list, you can see I have a show opened, but there aren't any images. Instead, you see these gray placeholders. Filling these placeholders is actually very easy. The first and the fastest way to add content into a show template is to select your desired images in the file list, then right click and select Add Files to Placeholders. If you have more placeholders than selected images, ProShow will let you know. Just go ahead and press Yes to begin adding your photos to the template. ProShow will fill in the placeholders automatically beginning with slide number one. If you select more files and repeat this process, ProShow will fill the placeholders beginning with the first empty placeholder it can find. As we preview the show, we can see that the effects, transitions, and timing are already in place. They are a part of the template and already applied to each slide. Another way to add files to a template is to drag and drop. Simply select an image in the files list and drag it to a slide. As you hover over the placeholder, you'll see a yellow highlight appear. This indicates where the content will be placed when you let go of the mouse. As you hover, you'll also see the slide update in real time to show what the effect will look like when you add the file. Now if you have an effect that uses multiple layers, sometimes it's easier to open up the slide options window first and then drag and drop your content into a layer. Next, I'll show you how to make your own show templates. Show templates always begin as normal slideshows. Any show that you have can become a template, so let's open up an existing show. To turn this show into a template, we have to tell ProShow that the photos in the show are merely placeholders. We want all the effects and timing to stay the same, but we want the layers to be replaceable. To do that, Double click on a slide to open the slide options window. Select the layer that you want to become a placeholder and click on the layer settings tab above the preview. In the layer type pane, click the option to make this layer a replaceable layer. This will tell ProShow that this layer should become a placeholder when the show template is created. You'll need to apply the setting to each layer in your show that you want to become a placeholder. You can do that one slide at a time, or you can right click on the replaceable layer label and use the advanced copy options. You can copy the state to all layers, all slides, or open the copy settings window to choose specific layers. Now that you've told ProShow which images are placeholders, it's time to save your show as a show template. In the menu bar at the top of the screen, select File and Save as Template. A warning will appear letting you know that ProShow will remove your content, and that's okay. In fact, that's exactly what we want to happen. We want ProShow to remove these images and convert those layers to placeholders. So go ahead and click OK. Next, give your show template a name. In the description box, add some notes that will help you quickly identify the best uses for this template. And then when you're finished, press Save. Now if you see this notice, don't worry, this simply means that some of the effects in your show have layers that are linked together. To make sure the effects in your template stay intact, click Yes. In the slide list, you'll see that all of the layers that you marked as replaceable are now placeholders. 
and that's it. You now have a custom show template that can be used over and over with new content, saving you lots of time. And thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other training videos on our YouTube channel or visit our blog for helpful tips and tricks about creating slideshows with ProShow.